Hi guys, welcome back. And for the ones that don't know me, hi, my name is April, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Split Ender Pro 2. This product was released years back, and I'm not sure when, and I wish I knew about it because even though I get free haircuts, there's still those split ends that are hiding, and the way I do it is going through my hair one by one, cutting each and every split end that I see. So I'm following the instructions. I wash my hair to make sure it's free from natural oils and product solutions, blow dried my hair, combed, and even straightened it. Okay guys, so I'm done straightening my hair as you can see. I just thought that it would be much more easier to handle if I had it straight. So this is what the packaging looks like. And the first thing that I saw when I opened it was this cute little bag right here. It's black and shiny and it has this design. And I literally freaked out because when I opened it, these were the only two things that I saw. And I was thinking, well, wait a minute, where's the charger and the little brush? Well, here was, so here's a charger. And here's the little brush that fell when I pull out the charger. And this is the Split Ender Pro 2. Make sure you do not drop this one. It's okay to drop the little brush, but do not drop this one because honestly, I believe that it is easily to break when it falls. I really recommend that you and attach it when you put it away because it turns on. It turns on when it's in the bag. These little buttons right here, they're like really easily to turn on. To attach it, you just put it where the two arrows are connected like this and then just twist to lock. And then back here, it has the lock on and the lock off. And if you push it down, it opens. It has the 1 4th inch and I think the difference between the Split Ender Pro 2 and the Split Ender Pro is that the Split Ender Pro has more, um, I think it has... What does it have? It has like a 1 4th inch and it also has like the 1 1 8th inch. And this one, you can't take this thing out. If you take it out, you break it. All you have is 1 4th inch. I was rapidly going through the instructions and it literally shows a picture where it has like this much hair. You're supposed to comb it before and... <sighs> Could you imagine all the women out there that want their split ends cut? And they have like so much hair, you have to have like patience. I don't know if I want to do this because um, I saw somebody sell reselling it on Mercari. And she said that she was selling it because it chopped off all of her hair. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it's sold still, so I don't know. So let's just go ahead and just try like the very ends. I was hoping I had more light, but it looks like it's about to rain and I kind of lost my... My sunlight but I still have my lights on hopefully it's good enough and then you're supposed to press in the direction you're going down oh. okay so I see like little hairs already I don't know if you guys can Hopefully you can. I can also see my hair right here. What happened? That's the way it looks like inside the blade. Going to comb my hair really fast. And I'm just gonna go section by section just like it says. So I'm gonna start down here. And I don't have my clips, but whatever. And it says to run through it three times, so... Well, I don't see any split-ins. But I see, like, hair in here. I think that's good. 
Okay, so it can't be like this thick. It has to be thinner. Oh yeah, and you're supposed to comb it. Don't forget. I see a split in. Let's see if it takes it out. I saw a split end. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Well, anyway, let's see if it gets it. Okay, I see another split end. So, I don't, okay, I see two split ends. So I don't know about this, you guys. Maybe it's supposed to be less hair than this. So, this is gonna take forever. If it's taking me forever, imagine the ones with more hair. Well, that's better yeah so the trick is to have like this much hair for it to work I should have bought some clips looks like it's pretty clear even the short ones up here like from here from where I started pretty good I swear I should have bought clips was that already three times? I'm not sure. There. Definitely do this in the restroom because there's going to be hairs inside. And outside. This is where I normally have my split ends because my hair is wavy but back here it's straight and then like all around everywhere like up here front goes a little bit wavy I should be picking up some split ends now I guess I don't have that many but if I put it like next to the black shirt they will like instantly just pop out so let me just put you guys down here Do you guys see any, any split ends? Let's just go again. And you know what I wonder? I wonder because of so much hair in here that is already trimmed. I wonder if it's still working the same or do you have to clean it and then so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it and then I'll be right back so guys it got like all over right here see all of this hair all right let's check it out this wasn't even half of my hair and I have a little bit of hair I want to come out. Come out. Come out. Oh, there it is. Wow. Well, let's let's see if it works. See, it does not work. This needs to be in there. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is what. If it's in there. Yeah. See. So this is normally where I have the split ends. 
Okay, noticed how I just went through this one and right here that's what it created did you see that knot I don't know if you guys can see that knot what about white I can see it if I pull it it breaks right there at the knot or where it was like trying to cut it was trying to cut this much off wow all right, you guys, so this side is what's already been through the split ender, and this side is what hasn't been through the split ender. So I don't know, you guys, you guys take a look what side looks better. Because honestly, I can't tell. I will like tell you one thing though, the very ends, okay, it's better if you just get a haircut. It's a little bit soft, but it's not as soft as when you get your hair cut. That's all I'm gonna say. I still see some split ends, but I mean, what do you expect? No sé. So let's just continue. And now that I'm on this side, it switches arrows. So it's not going to be, well actually, you really don't need to. You can keep going this way because you're just, seriously just still doing the same. But I guess they expect you to go this way and press the other side down. It's like this. I don't know. It's still the same thing to me. So let's just continue. I'm on my last section, which is my bangs. And you know what else I noticed is that this side my bangs are shorter on this side than this side, so hopefully with the three passes, um, they will be equal. Uh, let me see how my bangs came out. Where they're not even bangs anymore, they're like all long. Well... <laughs> I don't know about this, you guys. Kind of looks like it took a lot from right here in the middle. you guys so this is the end it is really time consuming let me just show you it is not that short I mean I feel like it's still the length that I had it um, but maybe just a little bit shorter and maybe just a little uneven I like it I just think that it's a little too pricey and I looked and I still have some split ends but not that many I recommend it to people who straighten or curl their hair on a regular basis. I hope this video was very informative to you. Please like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!